Greetings, I'm Trinket and welcome back to The Sims 3. And today I'm continuing to create my Dear Warriors, but I'm going to finish um, getting the ones that were already pre-created out and ready. I'm going to start with Sapphire. I was going to put the last video, but stuff happened. So, here is the lovely Sapphire. With her rather interesting um, workings. I mean, they're not that realistic, but the game kind of sometimes randomizes odd markings. But that's okay. It, Warriors is a little bit of fantasy, even with the Sparrow Cats. I mean, think about all the tortoise shells and calicos and whatnot that were male. That went on to have kids. And in real life, there are very rarely any male tortoiseshell or calicos, and they usually have XXY, and so they're infertile. But there was like, um, they weren't really a calico or tortoiseshell. But they kind of looked like one, but that's when they had like shimmerism where they're their own twins. They have various colors, like instead of one or two, they had three or four maybe. And those are quite rare because, of course, who are their own twin usually? But yes, this is. My dear Sapphire, the barn cat, and although she's a barn cat, um, she gets to live in the two lake den sometimes, especially in winter because she is one of their indoor outdoor cats. But her mate Ghost is a barn cat who refuses to wear a collar or go anywhere near humans. I mean, two legs. But to us, they're humans, but to the cats, they're called two legs. So, let's accept. And, I'm gonna view her personality real quick. She's a hyper playful genius. And that's her adorable voice. And I'm not really going to give her any tweaks. But I am going to get her so that I can um, put her on the blog for download. And she is. Sapphire. Barn Cat. Um. SG. Sapphire is a indoor outdoor cat living on a farm. Sometimes she can be found in the barn and sometimes she can be found be seen inside her two legs den. She is the mate of Ghost and the mother of Mozart. Mozart. Mozart has a different mother. Of Lovelace. Field and Flower. Yes, that's by your barn cat, SG. In case I have other barn cats besides Sapphire and Ghost. It helps a little bit, I suppose. Okay. So make sure you guess Sapphire can you pet. And then I want to add another cat. And I believe Ghost is pre created as well.
So yes, it's gonna be a speedy run through for the most part. Very, very interesting cinnamon, aren't you? But not who we're after. I want a ghost. It's either this male or This male. I feel like it's this male. But we shall see. Oh, that sugar is an adult. Oh, my heart. Oh, isn't she beautiful? No oh, sugar. You never got to get to me, an adult. Beautiful. Isn't she adorable? Yeah. Um, her kit version is already on the blog as a Sims 3 pack file or as a dot sim file that you can add into your own game if you so desire. You can always change your name, just keep your look, or keep them. As is, and they can learn about your game as an alternative story, an alternative universe, and I'm talking the family. Um, this isn't who I was after. Oh, but she looks so much like ghosts, that's why I thought this is a ghost. But no, I want. I want her, uh. Grandfather? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Sugar wine. Yes. I mean, a lot of white, my white cats have um, intro markings under their coat that you can't see because they're all white. Or very pale silver that's almost white. I'm pretty sure this guy is a ghost. Let's double check. And he is. Actually, he is Barn Cat SG. I'll give you a quick, not his shape. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the coat because I can't remember if he's just all plain white or there's markings hiding under him. And if there's not, I might just have to... Oh, he's got a few. Well done. He's got something going on. I just can't see it because... So light passy. And then here's his personality. Adventurous, independent, and proud. And there's his voice. Ghost is a bond cat. Who wants nothing to do with two legs, up walkers, no furs. Or house folk, or whatever else they may be called by other He is the mate of Sapphire, with whom he had three kits, Lovelace, Theo, and Flower. And he's going to be getting his own spot on my blog. 
if you care to want to download him or any of these other females. I keep seeing that, but yeah. Now, if you want to see your cat in my game, um, please do it one comment per cat. You can only do um, you can't do the same cat over and over again, so please don't spam the same cat. But one cat per comment. And you can do as many as you would like. I can't, I probably won't get to them all, but I will see about getting to at least one of yours. And I will randomly select them. And, um, give me their name. Their fur color, the eye color, there are three traits, and if you want to give them a backstory, okay, but their stories might change through the game as the game sometimes does things on its own. Like I can't 100% control what goes on, but it's fun that way. Why is your name still Kitty Cat? So I changed it. Maybe I did not. There. And now I'm going to create a daughter. I just want to take a look at... I already have what she looks like, but I just want to see what this will produce. I do wish they would let us, you know, have kittens randomized instead of adults. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to save this cat. They're not going to be in the game, but I have got to save this cat. That was... <laughs> Look at them. Like, Wow! Wow! Okay, I am just going to save them to, um, my bin. Let me know if I should put this... I think this cat has no name, and I don't, I don't have to have a bee related to them, but oh my goodness, look at this beautiful creature! Wow, but you're not I need flower. Wow. <laughs> I wish the shocked at what they could have produced without me um controlling what some of the founding felines look like. Okay, where are you flower? Wait, did I already... I already did far. I'm not looking for flowers. I'm looking for an Angeline. Okay, hello. I think this is an Angeline. I know this is the Glove Twig, but I was gonna get to him anyway, so since he's already here, this is the Glove Twig, the father of Mozart and of Angeline. Give you a quick overview of his coat. I don't think he had. That's not your fur coat, that's your shape. I'm going to go to advanced mode. Well, here's a few things. But 
I don't need to change him. He's just gorgeous as is. And he is a Burmese. And um, let's look at his persona. He's, oh, he's shy, playful, and clueless. And here's his voice. Isn't he lovely? Well, handsome. I think guys could, males could be lovely, but I think they would prefer handsome. And he is a very pampered kitty pet. Duke Ludwig is owned by a snobby, rich man. And his husband. Duke Ludwig is the mate of Duchess and the sire of her two kids. Mozart and of Angeline. And now I'm going to make sure I have his file here. Ludwig. Kitty. Pet. So do you... What kind of feline do you prefer? Big and fluffy? Small and sleek? Leaf. What? Color, maybe? The eyes? A breed? No breed? And if you own a cat, tell me a little bit about your cat. And if you've ever read the Warrior series, tell me who your favorite character or characters are. My personal favorite, I liked Firestar. I think I liked him better as Fireheart. Oh, and I love Blue Star too. And Misty Foot. Oh, and Feather Tail. Oh. But, um, I think my favorite is what's Hawkwing currently and Ad not Adderon Elder or El Elder how do you pronounce his name Elder Paul I don't think there's any character I particularly despise other than, like, the evil ones. I mean, they're good as bad characters. I mean, evil characters, but... Um, I'm not really into the dark side, but I feel so bad for characters like Maple Shade and Broken Tail. Oh, I really feel bad for Yellow Fang. Speaking of, I think Yellow Fang is my favorite along with moth flight oh, and gray sky why I am sorry there's just too many cats I like okay let's um let's get Duke Ludwig's mate out. Since I already created like there's um, Duke Ludwig and Duchess's son Mozart, I'm going to just not make him here. I will connect their who they're supposed to be related to through 
NRAFs, although it might not show the correct birth order, that's okay. And I'm going to go find Duchess. And I think this is she. I hit this. Set me exact. She looks a little long. Slightly flat face because I think she was a British short hair or something with a short face like that. Duchess Kitty Pet. Actually, DD. Kitty Pet DD. The Glovelink and Duchess is what it stands for. And um, I'll give you a quick overview of her coat. And here we go. And um, Coco takes a lot after her grandmother here in color. Kind of looks like she takes after both her grandmothers or granddads or grand queens. Like female cats that are mothers are called queens. I don't think they're called queens if they never had any See where this is at. Click on there? Yeah. There's one on each side. You can't really see it. I will click here just to show you. It's on the other side. Can't see that? It's just to give extra detail unless the game has some spawn in more kits. Although I won't really be Playing with like the ones that are you know, kitty pets that are parents. Yeah. That's... I wish I could do more with the snout face and the underbelly. Behind area, but I really come in. I did my best. I was trying to, you know, go off of a real picture, but something got really too difficult. But she's fine as she is. And she is friendly, hyper, and playful. And this is your boys. Duchess is a pink pretty cat. Here's the owner. There's our upper crust. She is the mate of Ludwig, and with him she had three kids. Not three. Two kids. Mozart and Evangeline. You wouldn't dream of leaving her great home. But that doesn't mean she doesn't miss her darling son and daughter. 
boom was given to other two legs. Once they were three moons old. And now we are going back flower uh and Angeline. I'm getting an Angeline. Uh oh. Not what I meant to hit. Oh, you're gonna give me another pretty kitty, aren't you? Not as good as one before. Ooh, I wanna Ooh. Let's look at Duchess and Duke Ludwig. He looks, er, she looks quite, um, I'm gonna try to up to three times, okay, pretty interesting. You look exactly the same as the color. Oh, that's okay. <clears throat> that's not who I was after anyway. I want to get the daughter of Angeline, who I believe I also created. Oh wow, who's behind you? Somebody. Somebody else's. A little bit, maybe. Somebody else. And that would be that's a flower. That's the blood wound. So this has to be a thing. Who takes a left after his fire? Oh good, I mean she. And she does not have a mate. So I think she's just gonna be keep at Diddy because she's the their daughter and she doesn't have her own mate. Real quick. I think it's basically most exactly like your father. I do adore her. Um, let's look at her. She's skittish and genius. Um, we're not going to let them start out as hunters, so... I think he's quiet. Yes, it would. I'm pretty sure I already saved this fellow. I didn't save her. Let's just keep that to me. You know what? I'm gonna do it just in case I forgot. Angeline. 
may have to take her because I'm not sure she's supposed to be that tiny. Oh, I heard. Got to do her bio. Um, Angeline is the second born within the lovely Duchess's one and only lover. She is the sister. She is sister to Mozart. Um, news, I'm experiencing, let's be fun, um, that's okay, I, um, experiencing the earthquake, and what happened with several of the two legs, she decided it was time to meet and live in the wilds. Having heard about plans from her mother, her mother was from a wanderer, she decided Maybe her family would do well if one could be found. Okay, Evangeline, you are wonderful. And now we are going to close that up and see you. Evangeline. Wonderful. And now to the uh, um, Yes, I know. Looks like I have to have a sim in the house, so I think I'll be using the supernaturals of some sort. I get relationships. Set and ghost, you are me. Duchess and Duke Ludwig, you are mates. Evangeline. Uh oh. I have to make them elders, I don't want to. Oh, I'm just gonna connect them in and rest. That way I can get. I hope start to be the older sibling. I'm gonna have to do that. Ghost and Sapphire's kids, too. That's okay. Kids. Kids. They're offspring. I just can let that load. And now I can create some more kitties. I have them. Um, I'm going to check if even a female that belongs to the clans or not. Who are you? Oh, I'm so bad. Twigger Kitty Pet CLT. Where's CLT? Does the CL stand for? <clears throat> so, Twigger is female, not male. How is it looking here? And the CL does stand for her mate, Captain Lucky. And 
he is quite lucky to have this lovely lady as his mate. I wonder if you can see a slight detail along her backside. And she is already pre-created. We're going to take a quick peek at her fur coat. These two, I believe, are the tail. That's her underside, which you can barely see. And then this is her face. I believe that's the eyes. And then this is, I'm not sure where this is. Oh, it's on her head back here, giving her a little slight light colored cue. And these are her ears, her back, and her paws. More of her facial structure. And a couple of nifty spots on her. But she is, as you can see, very Ray. She has these details under her fur that you might not be able to see, but it will make for interesting kits in the future. Though I think they might have kits already planned that um, look a certain way. Because as I said, some of them do. But they could have more kits than that. Planned. Now let's go to her personality. She is independent, neat, and proud. That's her voice. I'm gonna make sure she is. What is her story? I forgot to turn back on. Yes, I will show you her bio. To learn her little bark, we're going to hollow a tree to disgrace the mother. We were left by her own two legs out in the wild. Her mother struggled to take care of them, but she managed somehow. Recently, the set of new cats were sent to by Twigger and Bark near the home of the oak tree. She is made of a kitty pet known as Captain. So there she is. Isn't she just lovely? I know I want to get her mate out and ready. Oh, is this one of my pretty cats that is not for the um, clans? I might have him, like, be in the world. And maybe not, because he has connections to three other cats that I have recreated that were not made for the warriors, I don't think. But I want Captain Lucky. I haven't recreated all of the cats, but I've got quite a few, as you can no doubt tell, so... Um, eventually I will run out. I wonder if I made him at all. Not you, you Mozart. Is it this one? Because I can't really tell. No, it's certainly not this one. Are you pretty? You're handsome, but you are not. That's Mozart. Who are you? Are you another Mozart? No, it's Captain Lucky. He 
does look slightly different from what's in it. I'm pretty sure at least their undercoats are a little different. I think he might be fluffier than Mozart. I think he has a different, like, head shape about him. Bigger eyes, maybe? And he certainly has different markings under the pot. You can slightly see the eyes that, you know, Mozart doesn't have. And this fellow has green eyes, not the yellow that I believe Mozart has. Pretty sure he has yellow. It's just, when you got so many chocolate cats that look similar, it's like, I don't know. He's adventurous, noisy, and proud. All these cats are proud. I mean, you got, what, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen traits to choose from. Pretty limited. Eighteen if you don't count Hunter because I think they have to gain that in the game. So. There's these two, and I can't forget to do this, I forgot his bio. That's a lucky, is a bright citizen of the free world. Or so the story goes. He is a teller of tall tales. But he is very loyal to his mate. Trigger. And will protect her at all costs. Even should be leaving, leaving his two leg home. And So we have Turner and Captain Lucky. Um, I do not believe they had kits before possibly joining a clan. Well, I think of them, I'm going to get out more kitties. And all of their six slots again five at a time, because when I pull out the six, if I pre-create it, I cannot get that pre-created cat. Well, I just may change when I, um, do a, um, one where I had a pre-created all. Oh, yes, I have sliders that Made one of them an amputee. I will not have this fellow there yet. But I will actually put him in, but his family would take up five slots. So I'm going to see if there's any other pre maids I need to pull out. Okay, I have all of them. But 
leave your cat to download. Oh, 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 no, I think I know who I'm going to pull out. And that is going to be this lovely lady. And this look a little sparkler key pet. Ask W, because her mate's name starts with a W. Give you a quick look at her fur coat. As you can see, she's a ginger cat. Not quite stripy, more like this is definitely some type of tabby. And look, she looks so much better without that collar. She does have a bit of a big head, doesn't she? That's okay. And that is my 10 year old feline now in the background. I love her toy. It's a baby, beautiful baby girl. Oh, she's getting out of bed. Come on. Here's a beautiful kitty. Sorry, I was distracted by my own. Wonderful kitty pet. So there we have Sparkler. And let's have a look here. He's ventures playful and proud. I think others are like that too. Here's your voice. And, um, some of them, I don't feel like getting a bio at the moment, just to be a little quicker, and I really don't recall anything other than that she has a mate. We're going to pull out right now, because I think he's pretty creating as well. I mean, I did pre-create quite a few. I didn't think I was going to make videos like this, but I just thought I would. And once I have all the created ones done, I will start, you know, making ones from scratch. Um, hello again, Soldier. That's the second time you showed up. Should I be worried? I don't want to do you until your family is free because you and your mate have three kits that takes up five spaces. As I said before. believe this is Sparkler's mate. Yeah, wood bloomer. SW. His mate is a kitty pet and he's a loner. He's a dark chocolate color. I think his eyes are greenish color. I'm going to take a look at his coat real quick. And he's got not that many markings. That's okay, not all of them is terribly much. And I don't think I... She is in here. Sparkly Kitty Pet SW. So 
So yeah, she has a bit of a big head. She doesn't look so much better without the paw, but the kitty pets. My world have powers. Until they join the clans. And then we're going to look at Lord's personality. He's aggressive. He's an aggressive, independent genius. And that's his voice. He's probably going to get into a lot of fights, I assume. And, um, I might pick one more, one or two more cats if they either don't have kits or they both don't have mates. I know this has been pretty fast because of the pre-creation course. I thought I would give you a preview of what some of these felines look like. And I will tell you the name of the clans. There's Evergreen Clan, Lake Clan, Tor Clan, Boulder Clan, Shaded Clan, Metal Clan, and Breeze Clan. Um, I'm not sure if you're who I think you are, and if you are, you have kids, so. I want to see who else is available. That's you. Where did you challenge? Who is this white cat? He's so skinny. Mini. I have to look at something real quick to figure out if Mini has kids or not, yet, if ever. Okay, so I looked, and Minnie does have a kit plan, but that's after the clans have been formed. So, yeah, she started life as a pampered kitty pet, but the earthquake kind of ruined her. And I don't think she has anything on her coat. I could be wrong. I think she's just one of those very plain vanilla. But we'll double check. Well, she does have a few markings that you cannot see. Like one of these. One of these, a paw, and a tail. Okay. She's a very thin leaf feline. With a, with a longer snout than some of them, but that's okay. That's totally fine. She's She's friendly, shy, and clueless, um, and there's her voice. And now I am going to get out her mate. I think I already created him. I'm gonna put her in exchange. Oh, I'm not putting him in exchange, but I do need to uh, get her out with that Sims 3 pet. Now for those who use that. Is that you, ghost? I already have you. I 
mini snake is a male named Bond. Pretty sure that's a female. That's just a random generated by playing the genetics. It's not you, is it? I feel like no. Oh my goodness. Oh, well. I forgot. That's unfortunate. But I can always create minis mate next time and get them back together via the game or via grass because they're supposed to already be together before you know the plans. So let's see. So I can only do five at a time when I'm bringing out my pre creation. That's okay. So we're going to go to relations. Yeah, edit relationships. Twigger and Captain Lucky are mates. Wood and Sparkler are mates. And Mini is going to have to wait until I can get her mate Bond created. Well, he's already pre created, I'm pretty sure. I think I forgot to do something. Yeah, just you. Mini, he. So, they will, within a few days, be on my blog with free files to download should you take a liking to any of them. And feel free to tweak them, rename them. If you want to do that though, I don't know why you don't just create your own. I mean, renaming is fine as long as you. You know, say who created their stylish looks. And now, back to edit relationships. Trigger and Captain Lucky. Wood and Sparkler. Of course, we have to wait on Minnie's beloved mate. And here we go. So, I will um, see you next time when I decide to bring out more cats for the seven plans. And there are a lot of cats to plan, but if you would like one of your own in there, as I mentioned earlier, one cat per comment. I will randomly select them to maybe be in the game somewhere. They're not going to automatically join a clan. They might never join a clan, but they might, you know, become. They might. They might not. They might be bad characters. They might be good characters, depending on how the game itself rules, you know, let it go naturally, and, um, I won't get around to them until I've got all my cats for the seven clans created, but they'll give you time to come up with ideas. You can make as many cats as you want, as long as they are in a separate Comment. Don't put them all in one comment. Because I'll only take one cat from one comment. 
And um, as for this world, I think it's called Metal Gland by Mycin Real, Mycin Realty. So um, there's that, of course. But until next time, bye!